Today we are going to learn about mono printing. So your mono printing supplies are going to be over here in the painting center. These are mono printing blocks. We're going to use liquid temper paint. You're going to need brushes. Uh, paint shirt's a great idea. And then these messy mats can also make it so that your stuff does not stick to the table as easily. They're in the drawer back here in the painting center. So the first step you'll do is gather all your supplies and then take them to your table spot. Okay, now I've got all my supplies. So I did, I do have some small papers in the painting center you can use. Your first step is gonna to be to make sure you've got your name and class on all of your papers that you're going to use. And you can just set aside any extras you have. And then on our printing block, this is our printing block. So mono prints are also called a printed painting. So we're gonna start adding some color onto this. If you want to mix new colors, there's also magazine pages back there you can use. The nice thing about these is they can just be thrown away at the end of class during cleanup. You want to work kind of quick. So you might want to have more than one paint paintbrush. You can mix colors directly on your printing block if you want to mix, or you can also mix on the magazine page. Just remember whenever we change colors, we're going to wash our brush and wipe on a paper towel. I'm just making an abstract design that means lines and shapes and dots. The other cool thing you can do is try doing some texture in your printing block so you can use the handle of your paintbrush to draw different lines and those will show up in our print. Once I have a design that I like, I'm gonna take my paper and make sure my name is facing up so that I can see it. I'm gonna press this onto the printing block. I'm gonna gently press down with my hands. Then I'm gonna peel that off and I get a print. This is gonna go in the drying rack. If you want to keep printing with the same design, you can do that. And each print that you make is going to get a little bit lighter. Or I could go ahead and keep adding color to this and making more prints. Or if I decide I want to start completely fresh, I'm going to take this over to the sink and wash it with water and then dry it with a paper towel. When it's time to clean up, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure all the prints that I want to keep go in the drying rack. The next thing I will do is put all my stuff away. If you need help with any part of cleanup, make sure you're asking for help. Then I'm going to wash my supplies. We're going to put soap on our brush, wash the soap out, make sure the handle is clean. I can see that's clean. They go up here in this container, hairdo up. My water cup, I'm going to do a rinse, make it stacked up. My printing plate, you can do one squirt of soap, use your hand. Turn on the water, wash off any of that paint and soap. You can set it here, grab a paper towel. We're just going to dry this off. Doesn't need to be perfect. Any spills we made, we're gonna clean that up and then we're gonna go put these back where they came from. So printing blocks go back in there. You can grab a paper towel, wipe off your paint tray, return those. Make sure we wipe up any spills we've made in the painting center, then head back over to your table and clean up your table spot. Wipe your table, put away messy mats, pick up trash.